Hey guys, so I got a quick little video for you. I get asked sometimes about replacing fuel solenoids on your newer style carburetor. I say newer, but it's basically from the last probably 15 or 20 years when they started doing these. And uh, I'm just going to get right to it and I'll talk about it at the end. That way if you're looking for this, that way if you need to help changing this out, we'll do that part first. Anyway, when, it's, when this is on your mower, you'll have a wire hooked here. Just pop your wire out. There might be a little clip or something you got to press in to pull it out. Lots of most of the time you just pull them out. Don't pull it by the wires though. And you can do this with the carburetor on the mower. It don't have to be off of it. This just happened to be a new carburetor I got in stock just to have on hand. I figured it'd be a good way to show you how to do this. A 12 millimeter wrench seems to fit this the best. Uh, now on a lot of these, you're not going to be able to get a regular wrench on it you'll see you almost have to have a wrench half as thick as this and if you do I recommend just getting the cheapest wrench you can find and grind it down until it'll fit in there and get it. A lot of times they're a half inch so you have to pay attention to what it is and you just unscrew this and it was gonna be some, there's gonna be some gas come out when you do this and you might wanna if your mower has a fuel valve shut that off or put a pair of vice grips on your fuel line that way you won't gonna lose all your fuel then just unscrew it like this. You get a little seal right here. Then throw it out in the way if it's bad. Get your new one. And it just screws right back in. Just make sure you get that seal in place there. You don't have to take the bowl off. Just snug it up like that. Hook your wire back up and you're done. Now that's the simple part. I just wanted to there's not much to it at all, but I get asked about it sometimes. I figure I'd make a quick little video on it. But uh, I do want to go on talking about uh, what this actually does. This is called a fuel solenoid or an after fire solenoid. A lot of times when your older engines, when you turn the key off, you know, your engine coasts until it finally quits spinning. Well, your gas is still being pulled into it, into the engine. So if your muffler is hot enough where you get a hot spot or something, It'll ignite the fuel and cause a little backfire after the motor shuts off. Real common on older engines. It don't really hurt nothing, but it can be annoying and it scares people and stuff. So that's why they came out with these. And that's all it does. When you turn your key off, it shuts the ignition off on the engine. And it shuts power off to this, which shuts fuel off going into the engine. Into the carburetor and into the engine. It's not a fuel injector. It acts similar to a fuel injector, but it's not a fuel injector, and it's not electronic float or needle valve. It's not that. All these do is prevent the motor from backfiring when you shut it off, and saving you, you know, just a few drops of fuel when you shut it off when it coasts. So that's the only purpose of these. They are making fuel injected lawnmower engines yet, and I haven't messed with them yet. And I've seen them on generators and stuff too. Uh, I still like my old carburetors myself. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk about this. I guess I asked about it a lot of times. And uh, I picked up one of these carburetors. This is a you know, cheap $15 carburetor off uh, eBay for like a 17 and a half horsepower Briggs and Stratton. And I just picked it up to have in stock. And I said, well, hey, it'd be a good time to make a quick little video on that. <laughs> so. Well guys, if you've got any questions or comments about uh, fuel solenoids, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.